Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. We're going to continue our creatine series today. Uh, probably the biggest question out there that I haven't addressed so far in these videos is creatine monohydrate versus other types of creatine. And that's pretty tough to address in a short video. Uh, I'm going to repeat something I've said in other videos, but it's important to uh, listen to, which is to sell a product, any product, you either have to identify a problem and solve it or create a problem and solve it. Again, uh, the other forms of creatine generally come in the latter category. That is, they have a first attempt to create a problem with creatine monohydrate and then solve it for you. Uh, I'm going to summarize quickly, which I think you can apply to most of them, which is to say the drawbacks that is often listed of creatine monohydrate by competing products are either wrong, bogus, uh, unproven, or all of the above. And then they list as benefits uh, of their ulterior forms to monohydrate are also usually unproven, wrong, or bogus. So there's a pretty nice summary right there. It covers an awful lot of ground, obviously. I, I can't talk about every type because there are dozens and dozens of alternative forms of creatine. But look critically at their claims a, about what they claim are the drawbacks of creatine, and then look critically at what they claim are the benefits, uh, and whether these benefits are actually proven or not, and usually you'll find they are strictly theoretical benefits. Now, that doesn't mean alternative forms um, may not be superior to creatine monohydrate, but until proven otherwise, uh, again, this is, as I like to say, mental masturbation. Sorry to be graphic, but that's the way I feel about it. Uh, again. It bothers me if you're going to start by uh, uh, putting down creatine monohydrate with supposed negatives and those negatives are not true or bogus and so on and so on such as creatine absorption is a problem, uh, creatine bloat which I have covered in other videos so on and so on, then I have no faith in the rest of what you're saying. Uh, an article you want to read that goes into much more depth about this is called the creatine graveyard and that's on the brink zone. It's also, uh, it's easy to find if you do a Google search, but you'll find it on the Brink Zone. That covers a lot of ground also as to why uh, I tend to be so down on alternative forms of creatine. Um, and, and there's two basic reasons, like I say. One is most of the claims they make are simply unproven, unresearched, and you'll see that. Or the claims they make are known to be bogus. And so those two together uh, make me uh, sort of down on alternative forms. And again, I've been involved directly in creatine research. And not a lot of people can say that who are uh, selling other forms. I was involved in a study that uh, compared creatine pyruvate to creatine monohydrate. We found no difference. This was some years ago. Uh, I have done consulting work for some of the biggest creatine manufacturers and distributors on the planet, so on and so on. So I have a lot more experience here in the creatine industry, the creatine science, et cetera, et cetera, than 99.9% .9 of the people um, making these additional claims. Uh, one in particular I like to, to be used as a perfect example is creatine ethyl ester, which was uh, all the rage and made all kinds of claims. And, uh, and on finally inspection, on some research, the claims are A, bogus, as I said, uh, and two, not only it's not even as good as creatine monohydrate, it converts to creatinine very quickly, so on and so on. So that's a part of a perfect example in the marketplace to me uh, of a product that started off with a bunch of claims, a bunch of theoretical claims which were later shown to be basically bogus uh, so on and so on so I sort of see it as the poster child for my particular issues here uh, so read that article feel free to leave questions and comments and I'll see you on the brink zone now for more information on creatine head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog more videos free reports on fat loss muscle building supplementation fitness health and longevity as well as a ton of articles and my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.